Me, hi, Ivo, at the risk of creating more separation in the lightworker community than already is apparent, I'd like to have you clarify something. I know there are blue rays, indigos, crystals and rainbow lightworkers. I know there are grid holders, gatekeepers, empaths and light warriors. There are so many jobs that we do and so many different ways to understand our work here and who we are, it's almost staggering sometimes. The fact that so many of us have more than one role also complicates trying to understand who we are and what we're here to do. But it's becoming apparent to me that there is one more way to define us, and I don't want to create division or start having people take sides against each other with this information. On the contrary, it's intended to create tolerance for those who are different from yourself. This video is not being created for the sake of feeling more righteous than other light workers or feeling superior to other light workers, because that's spiritual ego. I've noticed that people tend to criticize other light workers for not doing things the way they do them, or seeing things the way they see it, and those people I boot out of my group immediately. I figure they need to get educated and change their perspective to understand that everybody is doing what they're supposed to do because we're all being led by our higher selves and guides and nobody has the right to criticize another's light work because they think they know better. If their ego is in charge, they're not going to comment in my group because it'll cause dissension and disruption. Ivo, yes, you are correct. However you could point this out to the errant light worker, could you not? Me, I could, but I don't spend my time correcting people who think I'm wrong. That's just gunning for an argument, and I don't argue with people. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, but if your opinion is there to drain my energy, because that's what criticism is, a draining of others' energy, no thanks. I'm not having you. People don't want to be told they're an energy vampire, so I just accommodate them. I also accommodate myself by not having them around me. Call me intolerant, I don't care. Ivo, so be it, my love. Me, so my point is. I believe there are two basic types of light workers, ones that are going to 5D to stay, and others that may be going to 5D temporarily for healing, but who will return to 4D Earth to help the people on it to ascend. The 144,000, I believe I'm the latter. And I believe both are necessary. Ivo, you are correct, my love. There are two basic groups of light workers who are training and learning different tasks to accommodate their ultimate role, either ascension to 5D or remaining in 4D Earth to help others along. And yes, their understanding of each other's process is limited and exacerbated by the spiritual ego, which tells them the others are wrong, there is only one correct way to do things and it is my way. Me, yes, I've heard a lot of that and anyone who comes from that perspective I don't deal with. They're already close-minded. Ivo, yes. Spiritual ego. The fact is, my love, that those who are going to 5D Earth to open the doors for others to come, the first who are there to settle this new world and dimension for Gaia and your people, have a more etheric perspective. You call them love and lighters because they speak of raising the vibration through love and spreading their light. Well, I'll do this. However the 4Ds are primarily the light warriors, who are learning to fight off the dark, in the name of the light. 4Ds are more likely to be taking part in the intervention and working along with the Galactic Federation in that respect. 5Ds are more likely to be working along with the Galactic Federation to create new timelines, create the 5D grid and channel the more etheric type beings with messages of love and light, which appeal to those who have been developing higher consciousness. You have noticed that Adama channels to both you and your friend, Megan Hilyana, also a vegan, but the messages tend to be different. Why? Because Megan is going to go to 5D, and you are staying in lower fourth dimensional timelines to help the most needy on Earth. This is why you have lived among them. You understand their problems and you have lived as they have. Me, yes, compliments of the dark side. Ivo. You did not choose to come here to open the new 5D Earth up to humanity. Others have chosen to do this. You are a warrior and have chosen to help heal the current 4D Earth through intervention, using love and light, yes, but in a different way. Me, yes. Ivo, and as it happens, 
4D Lightworkers have drawn much of the fire, protecting their 5D Lightworker co-workers so that they can experience higher consciousness within themselves without too much outside interference. You took the bullet for the team, as they say. Me, yeah, I'd do that. Ivo, so, many of the 5D Lightworkers have not much understanding of why you are speaking of the dark interference upon Earth, they have had less to do with it and perhaps do not understand. You cannot understand somebody else's experience unless you have lived it, and they are not living it. Some have chosen to experience the dark and to ascend to 5D as well, so they are very strong. Most live in higher vibration and do not understand the experience of their 4D colleagues. So they criticize you, saying, this is the way to do it. Follow me. But you do not follow them as you are not going to where they are going so to speak. You are not going to 5D. Your choice is to remain on the lower dimensional timelines, hence you have many dark entities to battle with. Your weapon, though, is love. My dear, you have also noted the difficulty you have in holding a higher vibration. Although you are of 12D consciousness, you think it should be easy to break through the negativity with all your power. Well, it would be except for the fact that you choose not to. You choose to stay in lower dimensions and take on more negativity to transmute it. That is your job. That you have contracted to do. Those going to 5D generally have not contracted to do this. Me, thank you, Ivo. I want this said so that other 4Ds can understand. And that 5Ds can stop telling us how to do things the right way. Ivo, yes, this is most annoying and forgiveness of their ignorance is called for. You get it from all sides, my dear, even your own kind, who you feel should understand you. But they do not. You said in the beginning of this video that there are many ways to define the jobs you all have to do. Bear in mind, as well, that the combination of different tasks to perform and the time of birth, creates a different light worker. All light workers have taken on the ego of 3D Earth. That is a requirement for life there, to have an ego. However, how you deal with them now is different for the 4D and 5D light workers. 5Ds have an easier time of reaching higher vibration. 4Ds have a harder time, always being pulled back down into it and that is why you are staying, because you are being pulled back down into lower vibration all the time. Many 4Ds are empaths and as I told you before, it will be difficult for you to attain a higher vibration and maintain it for this reason. It is not something you can heal from as is the case of the 5D light workers. It is something you have chosen not to heal from in order to keep you in 4D consciousness. The 4D and 5D light workers must understand that this is part of their contracts. It does not make any of you wrong or less than the others. That is what has been chosen. However, the 4Ds must focus on transmuting these lower energies. More will accumulate again but relief is to be found in transmutation. You cry as an example of transmutation. There is much information online to be found so we will not go into detail of how to do it here. Would it make any sense to send a transmuter of negative energy to the fifth dimension? No. It would not. We all are, but it is a matter of focus, where you focus your efforts. The majority of those going to 5D are more able to hold light than those going to 4D. 4D light workers are more often working as transmuters, hence they tend to reflect the negativity of the fourth dimension more. 5D light workers are grid holders and gateway openers. They have stronger manifestation abilities than their 4D counterparts in order to help create this new world. In the 40s, 50s and 60s, the first wave of indigos came to Earth. They are transmuters of negative energy. Their task was not necessarily to embrace 5D consciousness for themselves, but to help clean up 3D negativity. In the same vein, the 4Ds remain in 4D. It is by choice that you do this. By design. For the 4D lightworker, many feel their soul, as you do my dear, your intentions are high. However your lower consciousness switches frequency often depending on what energies you have attracted. You call yourself grumpy however you are learning to transmute daily by crying and this helps with moodiness. Your grumpiness is what you have agreed to experience as this is the negativity of your 4D earth flowing through you. 
Some 5Ds do not understand because they can maintain a high vibration without effort. It is a choice, and all must be honored. It is that simple. That is the chosen service. Me, Ivo, many think the way to heal yourself is raise your vibration, that intervention isn't necessary. Ivo, this is incorrect in some aspects. Yes, the way to heal yourself is to raise your vibration. But intervention is necessary because the collective dark frequency and mind manipulation techniques used by the dark are too dominating to be overthrown, especially when the masses of earth believe in the tenets of this evil system. They are the creators of this erroneous evil system as they are being manipulated into believing it. This is what the 4D light workers are fighting, they intervene in the darkness efforts to manipulate by fighting with love and light. Whereas the 5D light workers are holding space in higher frequencies, avoiding this entire reality altogether, they are vibrating above it so to speak. The aware 4D light worker is an anomaly. An injection of relief for the fourth dimension, with intention to turn it back to its rightful purpose of love. In the same way you would administer physical intervention for a cold, the 4D light worker is working on your planet. So the 4D light worker who believes in the dark, the negative alien agenda and so forth, is not creating this agenda for themselves. Relieving themselves of these thoughts will not change the reality for others. So they believe it and fight against it, creating intervention. This is what they have contracted to go to Earth to do. They are working along with the Astra Command to physically and spiritually intervene in the dark program. Me, so everybody raising their vibration to 5D won't help? Ivo. It would my love, it would be the answer. But who will wake up those who create your evil system by believing and living it? Who will help them? The 4D light workers are tasked to do this. To help wake up others and reduce dark influence on your planet. Me, yes. Ivo, you are not as much creators of your system as the ones who are dismantling it. Me, but Ivo, we're all going to 5D eventually, aren't we? Ivo. Your people on earth will be, through natural processes of ascension. Their ability to ascend will be restored again once the intervention is completed. As for the 4D light worker of higher age such as yourself, no, you will not be doing this. It is not necessary as you have already lived in higher dimensions and will return there upon your death. However, as long as there are dark beings attempting to control your earth, there will be 4D light workers there to fight them. Ivo. The end goal is not that you have found peace and love and spiritual oneness, 4D light worker. Your contract does not encompass that because you already have this from your prior lives on higher dimensions. You know this already. You bring these ways to your life on earth now but you are also fighters, not always lovers, and you fight the injustices perpetrated by the dark. Which as I have said before, far outweigh any benefit to the human ascension experience. In fact, it is intended to kill you and this is too much negativity to create good from. The light workers are more able to deal with and overcome this negativity because of their inherent strength. Me, okay, thank you Ivo. Now we've got this on record, to clarify for light workers who are fighting among themselves. Nobody is wrong and you all have divine purpose. Ivo, you are most welcome my love, and yes, all light workers have divine purpose. The task for many is to validate themselves in the face of opposition. Yes, 